Good morning, privateer followers, friends, family. Asia session, the uh, North American preview, or sorry, the Asian preview. Go over a little bit of what happened on Friday in the uh, North American session. Dollar yen, let's just pop right to the dollar yen chart because I think there's some interesting developments there. There are headlines out just a few minutes ago about, um, <clears throat> let me read them verbatim. Um, North Korea wants a peace treaty and build relations with the U.S. <clears throat> Kim Jong un wants a US, the U.S. embassy in Pyongyang. So these are uh, these are positive developments. I think it's a I think it's a, just a complete crock of shit. But um, maybe something is really brewing behind the scenes, and uh, skeptical um, geopolitical skeptics like myself are going to be left in the dust. I don't know. It could be, it could get interesting. Um, bottom line is dollar yen is you know basically where we closed it. We got up to 107.05 on Friday. Uh, the level we're looking at, we're continuing to look at here, let's pull up the 240, is this 107.20 spike high, and then we took that leg down from here down to the lows, the 105s. And remember, we, you know, we've been discussing how the <coughs> someone, some magic bid keep, keeps appearing in both equities and in the, in the cross yen. And, Dollar yen in particular on the 105 handle, um, it, uh, it, it it seems to have a bounce. Um, that's kind of the line in, in the sand. This 105, the figure where all these barriers are, these big structures. We break that. I'm going all in, bearish, dollar yen, and that could be a multi-month type break and you know a swift move to 100. But in the meantime, some positive positive develops out of North Korea. S&P stocks, you know, jackass bid. Uh, NASDAQ made a new high for the year on Friday. Uh, so first point for us is this 107.20. We've got some strikes up at 107.50. Um, I'll, I'll be looking at fade kind of 107.50.70 just as a, as a uh, delta hedge. Um, let me take a look at the NASDAQ. I'll just show you that, what I'm, what I'm talking about. Get over to the daily chart. Cryptos are, are bouncing as well um, today over the weekend, and you know they did had come under a ton of pressure. So here's the Nasdaq taking out the January highs. Yeah, that's an interesting. Uh, that's an interesting one. Fang stocks are on fire. Uh, VIX back down to. The, under 15, so it, it, it certainly feels like risk on across the board. Um, you know, other than that, it, a pretty quiet weekend. We don't really have, we have nothing. There's, uh, I believe Melbourne is off today and Sydney's in, so kind of a half holiday in Australia. And nothing really coming out in, uh, in Asia or... Yeah, actually nothing. It's a very quiet Monday. Just just browsing through the economic calendar. Uh, I would, you know, I'd be looking out for more of these North Korea headlines and uh, you know anything NAFTA related. And uh, expecting a quiet session for you. Good luck trading, and uh, you'll hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.